the last section is our further section in our further section we have our contact that includes our address phone num uh, email address phone number and the website and then we have about which is these three and then we have a stay in touch with which we have our social media links here that customers they can click on it and like our social media or follow us on social media and then we have a subscription field that they can subscribe for newsletters and other updates about our website uh, let's go ahead and build the footer section and contact and start our new section by adding a comment we simply start with a div with class of footer with ID of footer and class of footer inside our div we create another div with class of container inside our container we create another div with class of row inside our row we have three containers each will have four columns for the first one we use div give it column on a large device you want this to be four columns and on a medium device we want this to have four columns command D duplicate this two more times one two on the first one we put an h4 tag call it contact as we put some uh, contact information if someone wants to contact us and we wrap the contact information with a p tag with a paragraph tag if you guys saw uh, if you guys remember from the demo section our footer section the uh, address part had the like little icons like for the home address for the office address it had the uh, home icon and for the email it had the envelope icon so we're going to bring those icons here so let's go to fund awesome and the first thing will be the home the home icon we use this for the address and let's put one one like just an address put Washington DC add just a zip code and the next one is our email let's find the envelope icon right here copy the tag back to our code editor paste it here and write a an email address info at media.com the next one is the phone number just get another call icon Add a number and we need to add a globe icon for our website
command C. www.media.com So this was for our first container and for the next container we will add a h4 tag and call it about you know some information about us yeah let's uh let's also add some like icons here too you know we probably add like squares to just m make them look good let's bring the square yeah maybe this one yeah take the empty one maybe say about us then we say about the privacy of our company then term and condition that's it for this container and the last container we will add you know our social media contact and also a subscription field if someone wants to subscribe they can put their email and subscribe so let's uh, first add our uh, social media icon and we will just go copy Facebook take this icon First, we need to add a h4 tag before we paste the social media icon and say stay in touch. Just paste the icon. So we had Facebook. Let's get the Twitter. And let's get the LinkedIn. And let's get the Pinterest. Let's get maybe two more. We'll get YouTube and GitHub. You see how useful Font Awesome is? It easily gives you a lot of icons that you need for your project. It's just amazing. They've done a great job. And the next thing, let's get the GitHub. And then we give it a brick brick tag here to put our 
to put our subscription field. So input, just uh, give it a type of email, give it a placeholder, say subscribe for update and then the the button right and next to it with a give it class of btn btn success this will be the color of the button subscribe and refresh the page come down looks good we have all our footer information even if we don't add any style they look organized but we will add some style to it so let's go to a style sheet to add style to our footer we just add a comment so we know where our style for the footer section started so let's give the footer container some style give it a padding of 30 pixel a color you know all the text in the uh, footer we will give it a color of this color and give it a background color usually the background color for footer is the same as the um, nav bar so that's the color that we are going to give it B two 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 let's see how it looks the fresh good looks good we need to uh, one thing we forgot to add class to our social media icons because if we targeted by the I tag that's gonna change the entire uh, because we have the squares and we also have the home icon like the address icon here like this one it will change all of it but we don't want to change these tags so we want to give these a class and we target specifically th these ones the social media icon let's go back to our footer markup and this is the social media icon just add it add a class of social media like just add a social class so I'm holding uh, the command button on my keyboard and I just click on every I tag on the class part and that's the good thing about uh, bracket it allows you to do that so we just add the class of social you got all the icons with a class of social let's go back to our style sheet and target these icons by this class of social so footer social give it a font size of 20 pixel and we give it a height of 30 pixel and width of 30 pixel and we want the text to be aligned center and give it a padding of 5 pixel and we want to give it a border of 1 pixel solid and the same color as the icon itself and give it a margin bottom of 10 pixel and give it a margin right of 5 pixel so we want them to have some space and let's see what we got 
refresh the page. Let me see, I think I didn't save the index file and save this one. Refresh here, it looks good. Once we are done with the social media icon, we can add some style to our input field, the subscription input field. Footer input, give it a height of 40 pixel, a width of maybe 160 pixel, and a padding of five pixel, and border, give it border of none. So we don't want any border with this input field. Give it a background color. We want it to look like other text on the footer. So we want the color of input field. If someone wants, when they put their email, that color should be black. The last thing is to add some style to our button. Give it a padding of 10 pixel on top, 5 pixel to the, to the sides, and 10 pixel. And give it a margin minus 3 pixel on top. So we want to push it a little bit up to make sure it's aligned with the input field. And 0, 0, 5 pixel. Let's refresh the page and see what we got. Refresh. Here we go. Got a beautiful button. And it is aligned with the input field. Like you put an email example. It looks nice. So this is this was it for this section. And the next thing is to add our animation to the page. 